Hey, it's 8.45 and I am awake. Good morning, it's day 77. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll let your ship pay my plan uh, to hide the, you probably can't see my face, my plan to hide my mask in the guest room worked this morning. I told you how bright my bedroom was in the morning. The sun woke me up at 6.45 this morning. I went back to sleep though. Um, I kind of nestled my face into my husband's back. And uh, medicine came in a couple times, um, but then I ended up getting up at like 8.30, so that's early for me, so give myself a pat on the back for getting up before 9 o'clock. <laughs> Small steps. I'm going to have some sweet tea, and then here in a little bit, um, Probably after the baby wakes up and um, I make the girls breakfast, I'm probably going to have another vitamin top like I did yesterday for 90 calories. And I'm going to have that with a uh, Fiber One yogurt for 50 calories. So that's the plan. It's 10 o'clock. Here's my 140 calorie breakfast. And I'm also going to have some water. So, I can't keep it to myself any longer. I've got an awesome weigh-in to report for you this morning. Uh, the best in a couple weeks. Um, you know, I was 166.4 uh, yesterday. And today, I was 165. So, yes. Very happy with that. Tomorrow I will be uh, reporting the total lost for all of phase one. Um, pretty good numbers for phase one. See how phase two and three go. Oh yeah, I forgot to stress the other kind of important part about that weigh-in is that that means that I have now lost, officially since day one, 20.4 pounds. Yay! 20 pounds! Yeah! So, yeah, 20 pounds. And, um, therefore, um, tomorrow is a, uh, a body shot day anyway. I've got to remember that. Tomorrow's a body shot day anyway, but I'm also going to take a picture, and I'm going to try to take one exactly the same way that I did on day one that's in the little opening credits or whatever with the gray shirt on. That was day one that I took that, so I'm going to try to put on that outfit, or at least that shirt, and I'm going to pull it tight, and I'm going to put on some jeans that fit me now, and then I'll put that in my opening credits now, now that I've lost 20. Um, so, yeah. Maybe I should leave it till 25 pounds, because that would actually be halfway. No. 20 is still a good milestone. I'll still do it for 20. Um, but anyway, yeah. So picture and uh, body shot video tomorrow. Yeah. Having the leftover frittata and another piece of light garlic bread for lunch. Thing I made yesterday. And um, I'm also going to take my vitamin right now. But I was just feeling kind of sick to my stomach a minute ago. I don't know why. But I'm going to eat this, and if my stomach calms down, I'm going to take my vitamin. 
It's 20 to 3. Ever since before lunch, I've felt queasy. And then even while I was eating lunch, I felt good. I felt, you know, really great. And then right after I eat lunch, then I now I have intestinal stuff going on and more queasy stomach a little bit. I don't know what's going on. No, I'm not pregnant. Just got over my monthly. But, um... I don't know. I'm going to have a piece of toast, I think. See if that helps. I'm thinking maybe because I had sweet tea first thing in the morning. My stomach, my digestive tract is not used to any caffeine on an empty stomach or something. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I felt fine yesterday. And I ate the same thing that I ate today for lunch. And I felt it even a little queasy even before I ate that lunch. The Vita Top, I ate that yesterday. The yogurt was fine. That's the only thing different I ate today, but I don't know. I'm going to have some toast for 50 calories, and then I might have like a little tiny bit of margarine on it, so maybe like 75 calories. It is 20 after 4. I've been cleaning my tushy off. Well, look at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, still at the mess. Still at the Trying mess. Trying to organize, get rid of, give away. All this toys all from the girls' room, the playroom. This is what I call the playway, which is like our really wide um, hallway on the one wing of our house. And I've been cleaning, cleaning, cleaning off and on for a few hours now. Just got done with like an hour stretch. My stomach is still not right. Um, I'm having one ounce of these uh, nuts, kind of mixed nuts, chocolate almonds. Um, 150 calories. I'm going to sit down, take a break, drink some water. Here's my 130 calorie dinner. Uh, that's uh, one cup of broccoli, um, steam fresh bird's eye. And that is a sea sensation star kissed, uh, I don't know, garlic and herb something, fish fillet for 100 calories. Okay, so it's uh, just after 8. I just laid the girls down. And um, I don't know what it is, but I'm just feeling really today. My stomach is like kind of queasy right now, but I know I need to eat, and so I'm making myself a protein shake. Uh, this is what I'm going to make tonight. Those are peaches, sliced peaches that were canned um, that I just put in a freezer bag, uh, kind of separated them a little bit, sucked the air out of the bag, put it in the freezer this morning. Uh, it's 150 grams of the peaches, I think for about 50 or 70 calories. 35 grams of spinach, just for filler and uh, for the nutritional value of the spinach. I'm sure I won't be able to taste it. One scoop of the vanilla uh, whey protein, and I'm going to put a cup of the uh, silk soy milk in. Mix it up and drink it. Um, it's got less than 300 calories in it. I'll put the exact calories on the screen. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. Brian's not feeling good either, so it must be a bug because we haven't eaten anything the same today that we didn't eat yesterday, and we were fine yesterday. The only thing that we ate the same yesterday was the sweet tea that we got from Publix, so I don't know. But I remember last time we got sweet tea from Publix, I ended up feeling weird too, so I don't know what's going on. Look, I got a shamrock shake! Hey! It's really bright in here, and it's 11 o'clock. Uh, my husband just went to bed. He has been studying all day for this staff sergeant test tomorrow. Pretty big deal. Yeah. So, really hoping that he passes and that he makes staff. It's not like a huge promotion, but better than where we are now. Um, which I can't complain anyway, but uh, I just wanted to end the vlog for the night. You know, I had my protein shake at about 8 o'clock, and i just been sipping on some water. I'm finally starting to feel not nauseous anymore. Um, I spent a lot of the day, I showed you cleaning. Like, there's just toys everywhere, and just trying to consolidate everything and organize everything. It was, like, freaking crazy. Um, my class is starting tomorrow. I do all online classes. I'm studying to... Uh, get my associates in uh, medical billing and coding. Uh, it's mainly just doing like medical record stuff and like submitting 
paperwork to insurance companies for reimbursement. Pretty, pretty much that's what it is. Um, and coding medical records so that everything's kind of uniform. But anyway, I haven't even gotten into that yet. I'm just doing the kind of preliminary stuff, and then I have to take a certification test and whatever. But I decided to do that because I am uh, pretty good on the computer and uh, with numbers and memorizing stuff and had quite a bit of... Um, quite a bit of experience in the medical field, so I just thought that this would be a good fit. But anyway, I'm starting on this class tomorrow. Essentials of Pharmacology for Health Occupations. So, I'm pretty nervous about it. I mean, I'm not nervous that I'm not going to pass. I've actually done really well in my classes so far. Um, so, I'm not really worried about that. It's just... Could you make a little bit more, more noise? Please. Brian just had to come out and get some ice water while I'm trying to finish my vlog. Come on. Um, I'm not nervous that I'm not going to pass. Oh, thank that you. more noise for you? That's better. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy to do it. I'm just nervous because I've had a... Oh, oh. oh, yeah, that's what you get. Oh, yeah. yeah, he just spilled <laughs> yeah. water all over himself. See, oh, that's, that's not what water, you, baby. Yeah, that's what you get. Jerk. Good night. Okay, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, it's a little bit stressful. Uh, that's it. Um, eating today. Um, I know that I burned some calories doing the cleaning. Um, but, you know, I'm not adding those back in or anything because I'm just kind of living life normally, not adding the calories back in. Um, I don't know if I touched on this yesterday or not, but I kind of don't know where to go from here, uh, with starting phase two on Thursday because, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to do counting it back in first or not counting it back in first, or adding it back in or whatever. <sighs> But during the time that I don't add it back in, I'm a little worried because right now I'm only eating 1,200 calories a day. If I don't add it back in and I burn 300 at the gym, which I'm guessing is what I'm going to burn, that's bringing my calories down to 900 calories. And I know that that's not recommended. That's pretty low, 900 calories net a day. But... It is what I was doing before, when I was doing body flow two weeks ago. Um, it's not like I died or anything, you know what I mean? But I also wasn't losing great either, so I know that my body could have gone into starvation mode, even though I didn't feel like I was starving or whatever. I, did, I ate 1,200 calories and I burned 300, but anyway... I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that because I'm thinking I should up my calories to 1,300 and then burn the 300 and then I'll be down to 1,000, which to me is like a cutoff. Um, but I don't know. Brian said that that would kind of make the experiment inconsistent because then I really wouldn't be staying true. I'd be changing too many variables than if I changed the calorie uh, intake. And I know that you guys will probably say that I should up the calories a little bit because I shouldn't be going below 1,000. That's what I'm guessing you guys would say. So I don't know. But during the phase where I'm not adding it back in, I'm not supposed to be adding it back in. And I'll, I feel like I'll be adding in 100 more calories if I, if I up my calories at all. So I don't know. I don't think 100 calories will make that big of a difference. You think I should eat 1,300 calories and then burn 300 and come down to 1,000? on the time that I'm not adding it back in and the time that I am adding it back in I think that I can still stay with 1200 I don't know I think alright anyway eating was pretty good nauseous intestinal stuff all day it's gone away now don't know what the culprit is or was whatever drank plenty of water um, I'm going to chill and I probably need to shut my mouth because my hubby can probably hear me in there. Um, I'm just going to look at some sale ads. i got to totally stock up on meat. 
we have no meat in the house except for like a couple pieces of fish, I think, and uh, some hot dogs. So I gotta get chicken and pork chops, and gonna probably get a couple steaks tomorrow. Um, so yeah, just gonna be praying for hubby's test tomorrow. Um, checking in for my class tomorrow. Yeah, and ending phase one of the three phase six week challenge slash experiment tomorrow. So anyway guys, thank you for watching another day in my life on my journey to lose 50 pounds, 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 pounds. <laughs> Good night.